Uh, let me start with uh, the analogy between uh, uh, Trump and Berlusconi, because I think that they are very similar in every dimension. In a sense, they are both uh, extremely good salesmen. Uh, they are both uh, extremely wealthy and uh, not afraid to show uh, off their wealth. Uh, they are both obsessed with women. Uh, they are both obsessed with air, or lack of air for Berlusconi. They both <laughs> profess themselves as uh, free marketeers, but they both made their money in businesses that are the ultimate uh, opposite of free markets. And this is real estate uh, and gambling versus real estate and, and TV that is basically a regulated utility in Italy. These are sort of, a, you make money by having the right connection with government. And uh, so that's their version of free market. But they're both <laughs> extremely good, and this is the success of Berlusconi and the success of Trump. Uh, in portraying themselves as friend of the people. Uh, why? In part is because they speak uh, at a very low level, so um, people identify with them, and, uh, and they are happy to identify because say, e even somebody that uh, is so uh, sort of crass like Berlusconi can become rich. Maybe I can make it too, so that, that's self-identification is very important. Um, but the, the most important thing that, uh, and this is coming to my advantage, having seen uh, what Berlusconi represented for Italy, I became much more concerned about what the United States are becoming. So my favorite line is that uh, the great contribution of Berlusconi to humankind is that made things transparent. So um, Berlusconi is the integrated version of the US Congress. In what sense? In, in the US Congress, you have people that uh, were lobbies before, they become congressmen, and then they go back to lobby. Uh, but at least until they're congressmen or secretary of treasury, et cetera, they don't, are not employee of somebody. Now, they're beholden to somebody because they come there, they go there, but at the moment, there's a little bit of appearance of separation. Berlusconi did not even care about the appearance, okay? <laughs> Everything was integrated, his own employee, so he ran a party with his own employee. Uh, he created a party, it was a fantastic, from a, from a sort of strategic point of view, in three months he created the party. And he was sending his ad agent guy being the party leaders all over the place. Um, the same people became then his member of parliament, uh, the other were his personal lawyer, uh, his personal something else, and, and so on. They became sort of a member of parliament, ministries. So uh, you had the Minister of Telecommunication that was the employee of Berlusconi deciding on rules on telecommunication that affected Berlusconi. So are you so, saying that we here are more corrupt than we think? And that Berlusconi is a kind of mirror on us? and you have better access to that mirror, and so through that mirror, you understand America and its crony capitalism in some ways better than we do? Yes. Okay. 